Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker patch 6.3. This is going to be the Alliance Raid unlock chain and my first time doing the Alliance Raid. Which is, hold on, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta put it back in my brain how it's pronounced. It's Euphrosyne or Euphrosyne, something like that. That's how it's pronounced. I actually had to look up a pronunciation guide to the word to figure out how it was properly pronounced. But we find ourselves in Mordona, up here at Return to the Phantom Realm, at Derek. Yeah, Derek betrays a gleam in his eyes at the sight of you. Does he now? He's totally not one of the, the 12 in disguise, question mark. Oh, greetings, Bay. We've come to ask about developments in our Phantom Realm investigation, then your timing couldn't be better. A short while ago, I received word from Grahatia. He and Kryl have completed the preparations in Charlian and are ready to resume fieldwork. I gotta come all the way out here and then go all the way back to Charlian? Even as we speak, they make their way hither. Oh, okay. Let us wait for them together, shall we? Oh, little fade to black teleportation cutscene. Yep, okay. It's so damn quiet. Just a dead dragon in the background, no big deal. Ah, there they are. They're just standing here waiting for who knows how long. It is nighttime now? Kraha, what's going on, man? <laughs> Hello, Kryle. Final Fantasy 14 wave. Have you, why did you, you would have, you would have teleported. Did you walk all the way here? That's some device that Brock and Sindri made. What in the heavens are you carrying? That's what I'm asking. This, my friends, is the latest technological marvel to come out of Charlian. Is it? Give you the etheric analyzer. Is it like one of the gigant, a, a larger version of the goggles that the Scions used to wear? Oh! Holding it thus and takes measurements of ambient, of the ambient ether. Oh my, okay. It's quite the contraption you have there. Whose waveform is then recorded by the ethereal, <laughs> ethereal transcriber at the back. This provides us a detailed data of the environment, which can be studied at our laser. As you know, the Phantom Realms are hidden by illusions. In order to ascertain their nature, I suggested to Kryl that we record the data with proper equipment. Okay. Good grief. Alas, that equipment is tremendously cumbersome. Uh, <laughs> Raha has done well to bring it here in one piece. And as expensive as it doubtlessly is... I hope we can return it in the same condition. All right. This man has a proton pack on his back. Return it? Who made it? Wouldn't it be like just like... Ah, to the forum. In approving our investigation, they granted us use of the device in addition to their financial backing. That should be fine. Despite the student's greatly reduced scale, the forum has faith in our endeavors. Thus did the approval notice declare, I'm proud to say. Okay. We owe much of this goodwill to the Scions, yourself not least of all. Yo, high five. That being said, we can't depend on the forum indefinitely. No, we must stand on our own two feet again, and it begins with our efforts in this investigation. Into the, 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 the gods of this star, the, the twelve? I guess that makes sense. The Twelve are meant to be Eorzea's guardian deities, yet they seek battle with mankind. What could it possibly be that motivates them? Boredom? Testing? Anime rules? I just didn't thrift off my head. What, what else you got? Oh. 
wide-eyed Kryal. In treating with them earnestly, I am hopeful that we will find the answer. And after we battle four more of them. Yep, that, exactly. <laughs> well, we shouldn't keep a Snogium. I can't remember how to pronounce her name. It's like Snowagium. Snowagium? Waiting. Without further ado, let's join her in the Omphalos. Lollafell waddle. <laughs> We're just standing there staring at, at Graha. Oh, oh. All right. Let's write our, our chair. We weren't here for yesterday's stream. Uh, I got a fancy flying chair <laughs> where are we going yes just loop me a crop across to sub we're way up high yep 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 sure hello yes I have been beamed up. And we're back. There she is. Been standing there staring at those runes for... What? Eight months? The Alliance raids are in... At least they're in patch point one, point three, point five. So it's been... A little over half a year. Welcome back. Well now, if that isn't the Aetheric Analyzer, you've done well to get a hold of it. Yep. Indeed. We are duly grateful to the forum for the loan. It's no small thing to be lugged around, but I've always wanted to try it. If you're ready, Raha, you may proceed with measuring the Aether of the Phantom Realm. May assist him, will you? Doing what? I'll hold Raha while he holds the analyzer. In the meantime, I have a mind to further examine the monument with a snorium. How does it sound? Like a plan. As a matter of fact, I've already done a little bit of work on that front. You've been here again for eight months. Hopefully you have. As you previously determined, the monument harbors some manner of magic. And this magic, I have since found, takes the form of an epigraph. All right. Um, by consulting experts in the fields of archaeology, I was able to make a discovery. Gasp. Yes, the most startling discovery. And that is... Drum roll, please. That is, the epigraph is largely incomplete, so we can't read it. <clears throat> Amazing. Yep. Yep. Until we beat eight more bosses. Dun, dun, dun. You, so you didn't make a discovery? Ah, but see, establishing what one doesn't know is also an important step in research. All right. Manderville style animation and sound effect. For a blessing, the language used doesn't appear to be completely unknown, but uh, if we can but fill in the, some missing information, it should be possible to make sense of it. Oh yeah, by beating eight more bosses. But where do you even begin looking for such information? Why, well, we ask the gods themselves, of course. Ah, oh, yes, then we kick their butt and they give us their coins so we can upgrade our armor. Sorry, that's gameplay systems, not lore. By giving them the battle they desire, we're doing them a favor, are we not? That being the case, I dare say they would grace us with their presence if called. Please come with me. Maybe, I don't know. There are six, like, summoning deuses in this place, so... 
but only three alliance raids. Unless they do more alliance raids with this in the future, which could be a thing. Oh, I didn't what she said fast enough because it was a cute event. Oh, well, it'll be lost to us forever, I guess. Ah, oh, yes. Now, going by astrology, the heaven and earth should be the next to open. It just so happens I know the perfect incantation for this purpose. About to get a real anime, isn't it? When all the four gods show up. Open. Muntui. Muntui? Time-honored charm passed down in Gradania, whose patron is Nofika. I think it's Nofika. Nofika? Nofika, I think. One of the deities said to dwell in the he in, in the heaven of earth. Come oh, everyone, say it with me. Uh-oh. Get to hold out our hands, too? I told you it's about to get really anime. I can't see anything. I'm just a hat. Oh, well. Why would I triple dot it? Nah, nah, give it all the anime energy. I'm a six foot tall bunny after all. I may have done different dialogue in response, but I was told, or at least I put it in my tweet and slash was told slash read that uh, Lady Demetress crawled so that one of these raid bosses could run. Now, take that what you will. Uh, that is... potentially about to be revealed to us. Ah, yes. What delightful children you are. I, too, have desired to speak with you. Yep. <clears throat> I understand now. <laughs> okay. By the 12, it's her. It's really her. Someone just fell in love with a goddess. That happens. She looks precisely as depicted in legend. Amazing. The lady boner is strong. It is an honor to meet you, Nofika. If I may, what is it you wish to speak about? See, this is the stuff that, that if this quest line was voiced, it'd be so much better. Not only because all the pronunciations that have to come from Japanese. It, well, I guess it comes from like the old English back end of how this whole game is written into Japanese, then back into English. But, yeah. Indeed, Nico. Indeed. You seek to decipher the monument, do you not? If you face more of us in battle, I myself included, we shall grant you the key to unlocking that mystery. She's got... She's got... She's got... <clears throat> yep. They know what they're doing. The artists at Square Enix know what they're doing. We would, of course, be much obliged for the gift, but are you certain? The gods before were not exactly forthcoming with your secrets. Closely, we have watched you from our respective sanctums, watched you as you faced us, and pursued the truth with pure hearts and minds. In light of what you have seen, we have concluded thus. Even should you uncover the monument's purpose, you would still be willing to lend us your aid. Oh, are they in trouble with something? You would still be willing to lend us your aid. Hmm. The plot thickens. Help us to fulfill our heart's desires, and so too shall we grant you yours. How about putting your outfit on the Mog Station for $4.99? I look forward to receiving you in my sanctum, my dear children. And then, of course, she's going to, yep, turn back into a, a blob of ether and rock. Of course. 
Kurt? Ja. <lacht> ja. 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 The comments about how Lady Demetres crawled so that the Nofika could run make sense now. Our efforts to understand the 12 appeared to have paid off. I wasn't expecting a god to actually appear. Twas but a coincidence, surely. Are you good, Snow? It worked. The charm reached the matron. If it can be repeated, I shall have to mention this in my thesis. Well... I think Snow was uh, quite taken aback. The original plan was to revisit the heavens of lightning and fire. But I believe all would agree that we would prioritize Nofika's... Nofika? Nofika. Wish I knew the actual pronunciation. Everything in here is Greek. So very specific every vowel is combined with the, the consonants. So it should be Nofika. Just like how the name of this raid is called Euphrosyne. But if you press it in English, it would be like Euphrosyne or something like that. Or Euphrosyne, which is definitely not as fancy. Oh, yep. Hit him, hit him with the, the, the fist in hand. Well, Snow, you're charmed to the trick. The other way... Oh, the way to another heaven lies open, and beyond it is the truth of the monument. After she goes and, you know, reels in her lady boner. I can scantily wait to pour over the alchemical data. The alchemical? The etheric. Whatever. The anime data. Raha, Bay, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Okay. Do we go right into the Alliance right now, or do we do quests to open the gates? As for you, Derek, may we rely on your guidance once more? No? Okay. Though we know what awaits, I do not feel my presence is necessary. On the contrary, I would only be a burden until the next Alliance raid comes out where I have real myself as a one of the gods also. Aha! I don't know. As you wish, of course. We still count on you to pray for our friends, though, I trust. Yeah, he can't enter the other realms because he also has his own. I don't know. This this whole character is very sus. Got the noise this time? Encumbered as I am with the analyzer, I won't be able to assist in battle, so I should do my part and secure the data we need. Womp, 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 womp. Looks like we're going right into the Alliance Raid. This is the patented tilt up title card. Tight title card. There it is. You're a fr yeah, you're frozen. -y. Of course, the previous one is Ashlaya. Ashlaya. So it's everything. You have to bundle all the vowels together. Raha? Curious about my attire, are you? I borrowed it alongside the analyzer. It's the choice of gleaners, cleverly designed to help one bear great loads. He is in a new outfit. And hefty as the analyzer is, by now I'm quite used to the feel of it. That's to say, I won't unduly slow you down. Come, let us set forth. Knowing you, you'd have no trouble finding your way without me. I will cheer you on from here. Mm-hmm. In actually fighting the gods, yours is the hardest task of all. The rest of us are truly grateful to you, and we shall do our utmost to support your efforts. Thanks to the etheric analyzer, even those who can't accompany you will have access to valuable data. Compliments to the forum on the loan. All right, let's queue up. Twa. The Twelve, Eorzea's guardian deities, seek to fulfill their enigmatic aspirations, and for this they claim they must engage in battle with men. The race of man, even though, again, that's very broad in Final Fantasy terminology because all the different races used to be just the ancients, but they were <coughs> split. That's why we have Lala's and cat girls and boys and buns and hire and row and all this kind of stuff, but they're all just considered that for the purposes of 
simplicity's sake, I guess. Continue your efforts to uncover the truth. You and your comrades have turned your attention to the monument at the heart of the Omphalos, which contains an incomplete epigraph. The goddess Nofica promises you the key to deciphering it, but in exchange you must do battle with more gods, herself included. So it is that you prepare yourself for another grueling foray into their sanctum. They are to grant the deities their heart's desires because they're bored. <laughs> Uh, let's do it. Well, hopefully it's not actually a 25 minute queue time. That would be insane. So, but let us head in to the new Alliance raid. You're frozen, a eh? Or something. Until one of the DPS doesn't actually accept and we get put back in queue. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. No. Oh! <laughs> Every time. Every time. Let's go. Okay. Right back in with another DPS that might not click the button. Wait for it. Yeah. Okay. We're in. I still want to turn the music up a little bit more because it might not be loud enough. Okay. Hello, Raha. Howdy. You throw Zine. You frozen a. There she is. At last, the time is come. That was cool. Oh, goodness. Hit him with the hoy. Oh, yeah, we got to turn the music up a little bit more. No, oh, let's, let's jam. I am healing my party with a sage healer. Yep. There's our group in the corner there. The new adventure plates for group activities. Let's eat a pizza. Prove to me life's resolve. Okay. I probably could turn off friendly spell effects, Let's actually. <laughs> I can't even see her. I can't even see the boss. Woo! Feel you, the heartbeat of the land. Is that actually Yestola's voice actor? These concentric circles? Oh, she no, changes the no. season. Oh, it gets closer and closer. I see. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> hey, look, I can see again. Reap the harvest. Okay. That's like, uh, one of the weapons. Now I can see spell effects from the boss. Hang on. There we go. We're getting a forced march. We want to stay in. Where am I going? Let's go on this way. Oh, but then she does. Uh, I'm dead. So the forced march is always away from her. Got it. 
force marches away. Thank you. Not towards, because the other the other actions are towards. Mine is the breath of the earth. Changing the season again, I take it. Yep. Whoa! We have to get in those. I'm following the group. Oh, it's you want to be in the season that's exploding. Which it was blue, yellow, blue. I guess that was what was happening there. Yeah, you are you are dead, friend. My heart rejoices for our union. I'm still at reduced healing efficiency right now. Okay, so this is a this is still gonna be away from her. Ooh, spicy. Oh, that still hit me for some reason. Oh, that's towards her. I'm dead. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. One season is one season is towards another season is away. I'll tell you what, it is kind of hard to see Bow down like the, willow. the ground effect. Yeah, so I have to learn which one is in, which one is out based on the force march. Season change. So it's like it's like autumn or this is spring or no, the summer. I mean, it's blue and yellow. I'm assuming they're tied to a, a then double yellow. Uh oh. I'm in raid buster. Okay. Black. And the triple tank busters. Oh, the other healer. Someone else got them. children be strong for what awaits all right sight reading alliance raid bosses what are they doing what is what's going on am i dead i'm dead <laughs> all right all right first time those are uh caster and tank yep you can only get one Are piece of authority. gear right now let Ooh. the land be remade. Who's talking? Question marks. What the hell? Alliance raid trash. It's just a ton of toads. Toads and trees. Alliance raid trash. It happens sometimes. The near raid had tons. That one tree is not being pulled into the blob. All right. Whee! Whoever designed the new. Yep. Whoever designed the new jumping puzzle inside the gold saucer was part of the team that also co-designed the new alliance raid. The sylph walk or whatever it is. 
Roaring Rumble. That's, is there AOE spam? Yeah, it's kind of a lot of damage with three in a row. Whoop. I can't really use any of my stuff on that tank. This is our tank right here. The Mendenmo J. Oh. Hello? Okay. It's just a behemoth. In true WoW LFR fashion, you should have been kicked by now. And also, you don't do 10 million DPS. Well, I guess that... that I talked about this last time, uh, the previous Alliance raid. The... There's nothing to always get away from it. Alliance raids in in Final Fantasy 14. I I still would would say these are actually quite harder than oh okay. That oh, damn it. I would put that Alliance raids are not difficult once you've seen them. But LFR in World of Warcraft is way easier. Wow, LFR like just can't really kill you. Whereas there's me, but I couldn't stay away. <laughs> hmm. It seems my sister shall be joining us. It's Alfic and Nemia. It is only fitting that we face you together. Okay, it's a council boss fight. Yeah, the first two bosses are normally the same. I will spin your face. She draws cards. I guess that's the lover's card. Does that mean look at her or look away from her? Look at her. Just look away. He has a buff. Created by the spinner to emerge victorious when this effect. You have seven minutes or they just win. Have you the strength to defy fate? So fate spinner, huh? Okay. The sands of time are mine to command. But still the lover's card. But so do I look at? I don't. Okay, so it's just. I don't know what's going on there. I guess does does Alphic have his own card? And it's just never look at the card drawer, but only, only Namiya is actually, but yeah, I don't know. Alliance raids, I like I was saying one. earlier or saying moments ago, trying to finish my thought is that there's usually very, there are fail states where you will just, the whole group wipes in, uh, in Alliance raids. Whereas you really just, I don't know, don't wipe in LFR in World of Warcraft. Damn it, this this sage or whatever is just really on the reses right now. Oh you oh you have to be on the Okay, you have to be on the line. In waters divine. Oh you can't even touch the uh rune. Oh, okay. So that's a concentric line? All right. Yeah, so you can't even touch the runes on the ground that Alphic made. It looks like everyone is burning down Alphic first. Sir Tank Soaks. There's a one, a two, and a three. They're at one. Oh, is it a wave? Ah, okay. And you want to get pushed from wave to wave. Very good. And then not pushed off the platform. Lots going on. Maybe I should turn back on all my spell effects again so I can't see a damn thing. Oh, so now it's not lovers? It's green. So this is look at her. Okay. 
I guess? Question mark? Yes. And if you don't, you get there was oh it's fearing. Whoa. Who are you rezzing, friend? I'll res the Reaper. If four minutes should be three minutes remaining here in a moment. Oh, the other Alliance's tank was down. Oh, but now it goes in reverse. Because the, the sister is... The sister is fate and he's time. Well, I guess you can kind of use the runes in that to slow you down. Everyone else sight reading and calling off the platform. Welcome to the Lions Raid. Just gonna pop this. Drawing cards again. Bear witness to the keeper's might. And wave coming. To look at her and dodge the wave. Long have I awaited. Oh, but now it's random. Some people actually have to look away. Okay. Not too bad. They don't really get to do much damage on these fights. It's not like it really matters a whole lot. This too is fate. Upon the most exalted of battlefields. There she is. Stand. There she is. This is the reason why everyone, when they saw the trailer, just flipped their shit. All right. The Haven of Ice. So these are all elements about... These are Earth elements. Earth and Ice. We've come to a frozen domain, which means... Pretty simple trash packs, considering the stuff that was in the previous raid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can stack these up. Maybe you can stack them up? Oh, all their circles would definitely stack. Woo! I just picked a side. Oh, I'm in the... That hit me. Yep. Oh, it's a frost dot. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. The little, little garbage ads do the line nukes. Okay. Nothing like doing these blind on Black Mage. <laughs> that, that's our Black Mage in our group. Doing these blind on Black Mage. Yeah, not knowing where you can stand at certain times to keep casting. Big, big part of playing Black Mage is knowing how and when you can stand still. Summon your courage and press on. Holy crap, the skybox in here? Okay. Yeah, this there she is. Very cool. It's Halone. Alright. I'm ready to get my ass kicked because I, I don't know what she does. Shall test your strength of spirit. Oh, three bosses have the same music. 
made a little less music for this one usually it's two or the same and then last and um maybe it's not maybe it's maybe it's three and one all right we're just getting rain of spears all piercing spear drink deep of raging blizzards Is that a huge frontal oh nope donut donut half and then oh god for glory you must be prepared to render your all now it's out back right okay very cool so an in okay that's actually a pretty awesome mechanic ah that's quick raid soaks uh we're a little bit disjointed here or uh, i guess party soaks rather raid busters you must do better than that against me putting up her shield i guess Okay. It's Cassia from Diablo. And again. Very Greek. It's like a half light shield strike. Yeah, I guess. Well, the music is soothing until the fiddle kicks in. Like this part right now is a little bit Okay. Oh God. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Rain of spears, will of the fury. There is no Collapsing. Oh, I hit me. I'm frozen. Ah. Yep. <laughs> well then. Ouch. My everything. <laughs> All right. Victory. Very small window to move hand. into the first hit. She's gonna charge. No. Uh, what is this? Oh, we have to kill the glacial spear. Oh, oh, then we're locked in. I'm not in my correct room, I don't think. Oh, I can't even help the other other raids. Just heal who I can, I suppose. Heal by nameplates, because I can't, I have to directly target if you're not in the same alliance. Oh, the main spear. Can I even target in? I, I, I can't. Nope. Target not line of sight. Can't even help them. Oh, the big one brings down the big wall. Okay. Uh, my hitbox. <laughs> In ice unyielding. Now rest. Now raid buster. Still got wings up. Mine is the Aegis. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. I'm actually almost dead. I mean, I couldn't do anything else. During, I could have cast. I guess it's a multi hit. So I would have had to have down. Uh, oh, would that our clash could continue forever. But now I was looking at it from a. These are the swords. Hang on. Probably could have had down Lily for that. Because clearly it was a multi hit. Ooh! It's a thin piece of pizza we have to stand in here. Our tank is dying. Oh, and then solo soaks on one whole group. All right. 
Oh. There is no retreat, only victory or defeat. I should be good this time. Then fall off AOE. Uh, I saved the. Yes. Lose yourself in the joy of. Couldn't battle. save the other Reaper. This is her phase one mechanic. And it's right and forward. Nope, too slow. Oh! <laughs> I'm assuming that strike always goes to where you're coming from. Because I'm Alliance B, so I should be, we should be back here in the middle. Yep. Damn it. The sight read is real. Oh, it meant she AOEs the crap out of us. Yep. To put that right there. She's almost a 10%. Okay. Oh, another alliance is covered in... And there's a soak. Don't put that... Ugh, don't put that in there. Back... Back left, and then just forward. For glory, you After two, your all. forward here. Nope, a little slow. Yep. All right, tank busters. <laughs> well fought, all right. Wow. Your next test awaits. This entire fight and she pops out a new attack. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. That was great. That was a little more easily, like, I guess, noticeable or telegraphable than getting crapped on by, uh, uh, no Fika. Okay. Whee. You move to the Hall of the Spear. The pedestal of passage springs to life. Oh! Oh! Oh, cutscene. Yep, here's the cosplay opportunity for 2023. It's Menfina. Menfina, actually my chosen deity when I Have made my character. Hi, Graha. Let's go. Yeah, my chosen deity. I'm pretty sure I put Menfina. This is cool. middle yep Lest you won't, tis not I cannot handle oh oh half moon aoe all right is it too much for mortals I wonder tank busters Oh, but they're like giant slices. Whoop. Prepare yourself. We lost our eight. Oh, ring of ice. Have mercy upon this. Uh oh. 
though. They've already res. Oh crap! If they get to our last, I was looking for reses. Yeah, I was looking for reses there. Uh. Oh, they wax at different times. Ah! You can't touch the wall. Probably is a bleed. Oh shit. Midnight Frost. That was a waste. I had the wrong, wrong heal there. Okay. on me ouch raid buster maybe or phase transition okay she's a lunar wolf. That might as well happen. Let's delight in the simple things. Midnight Frost, but also she has a claw. Yep. I saw that. Oh, it's not her. It's her wolf. Because she's still right there. What's the wolf's name? Aww. Blue Moon is AoE. Keen Moonbeam. And then a half, half, I'm dead here probably, maybe? Nope, not dead. Ah! Oh, it's slippy slide. It's Dalamud. Wait, she named... Why is her doggy's name Delamud? Really? I guess Delamud is a star. You're always in my heart, my love. Yeah, Delamud is the name of the pupper. Wax is first here. Run, you fools! Uh. 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 Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely Soken awaking his magical girl powers. It's very Sailor Moon-ish, that's for sure. I was thinking the exact same thing. Big, big Sailor Moon energy. 90s anime for sure. Big 90s magical girl vibes. Look at this pose. <laughs> it's so adorable. I accept this, my darling.
Yeah, they're big line nukes. Oh, this ray doesn't have a fail state like Nald Fall. Nald Fall had a, a full on fail state. This does not seem to have that. Oh, that's tight. Ooh, okay. Yeah, my other healer is definitely dead. Okay. No, Fika was the spiciest one. Our dreams may yet become reality. Thank you. That was cool. Yeah, Minfina's got I mean, all these bosses have big cosplay energy. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, that was. I want to say they took the feedback from Ajlaya and made it this a little shorter. It's a little shorter, I feel. You know, wind up Halone. Let's. I got a four. Well, I'm not winning the minion. I would. I would safely assume I am not winning the minion. Oh, the Benfina card. Ninety-two. I didn't win it. Nothing. Favor. Orchestra and roll. 92? Didn't win it. <laughs> Son of a... Oh, yo, the chess piece. 96. Let's go. Oh, I got the, the chess piece. It's not an upgrade. Uh, I guess it, I'd say it's a side grade. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because the, the chest upgrades come from the last boss of the current raid, which are 630. So this is a 620, so it would be a side grade. Look at that. I mean, yeah, 17. What's it look like? Oh, that's right. It's the huge gown set. All the armor sets from this raid are like armored gowns. So I think the arms for the healers have... Yeah, it's like metal and armor and whatever. Pretty robe-ish so far, though, for the uh, the healer set. That's cool. And I got the, the coin. Very good. Hi, Raha. Thanks to you, I was able to focus on the data collection. Good job, bud. I believe you may declare this foray a success. All right. What's up with the frozen... Goro statues in the background there. Oh, I couldn't play our comments anyway because I was too busy not getting any loot. <laughs> all right, post cutscene where all the gods pop out and are like, hey, what's up? You're both safe. Thank goodness. You have data then? Wonderful, wonderful. Calm down, Snow. I don't suppose I could do the honors and replace the transcriber cartridge. I've always wanted to take a closer look. All right, sure. Why not? <laughs> take care of moving it now. You don't want anything to happen to the data. Oh no. Epic foreshadowing. <laughs> Careful does it. Come on now. Oh, knowledge divine. Come to me. What is that? Someone says. Oh, God. Yep. That makes sense. Oh. It's all right. The cartridge is safe. Just Menfina floating in the air. No big deal. Just, just floating there. Let's finish the task before they are any more surprises.
Yeah, it's just weird that they get voice actors in to voice the bosses during the encounters, but they don't actually have voice dialogue during all the cutscenes. I mean, it is to have to get like four more of the actors in to do lines, but. Yep, there they are. Look at all the cosplay opportunities. You have our gratitude for bringing us closer to achieving our dream. Which is what exactly? We don't know. That's the whole mystery of myths of the realm, as this quest line is called. Oh, Alphic, must you always be so formal? Although <clears throat> he has trouble expressing it, I assure you, my brother is absolutely giddy with joy. Now, Halone has got some serious Melania Blade of Mikola vibes. Because she was developed post Elden Ring. So, like, the winged crown covering the eyes. She's way more armored, and obviously she's super Greek-inspired. She's like a Hoflite, basically. But, like, come on. Come on. Why are you here, Nofika? Have you not sufficiently amused yourself with the mortals? She's here for the cosplay opportunities? Duh. So that people can get full-on screenshots. Well... Square Enix on the special site for 6.3 will probably release full renders of all of the characters after a couple of weeks. Uh, they won't at first because of spoilers, but they will after a couple of weeks they release them. Uh, they did that for the previous one. Not nearly. I would talk to them some more. Okay. Dude, Haloni looks so fucking cool though. Damn it. Nefika promised you the key to deciphering the monument, did she not? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Just... Then you would do well to hold in your minds that which harbors information. <laughs> sure? Come now, brother. You need to speak plainer than that. To clarify, we shall create the objects you need, but your assistance is required to give them form. Paracausal magic? Worry not. Appearance has no effect on function. Just try and imagine that which, in your minds, is used to hold information. I mean, like, a flash drive? A book? A computer? A floppy disk? A CD-ROM? <laughs> Telegraph tape? I don't know. There are many things that hold information. <laughs> Crowd just holds it like a USB drive. Like, oh, look. What? Oh. Is it all the same? It's just books. Of course it is. Oh, oh. A map. Ah, a tombstone for us. That's a poetic, actually. So why did Derek get a map? And everyone else got books. We got a tombstone. There, these instruments shall be useful in your quest. Across Eorzea lie eternal stones that hold the information required to complete the words of the monument. By holding an instrument out to the stone, it will take the information onto itself. We scatter these stones across the realms that mortals would not uncover our secrets. Of late, however, it would seem you have found alternate uses for them as objects of worship. All right. Could they be the marks of the twelve? They are, aren't they? Oh, to think that they harbored information on the gods. Which is still weird. Because, like, the... The, the connotation of that the twelve that these deities exist on the on Eorzea means that... Are they also... 
mirrored fractions of also deities that existed in ancient times or did Heidelin essentially put them here so that each self-contained reflection has their own you know like deific structure of gods and mortals or are they specific to the source just on Eorzea like what because in a weird way, if we're the children of the gods and the gods are the children of Hydaelyn or something, I don't know. There's a lot of anime lore going on. It seems we have our next destination. Aside from the three city-states, I believe that marks are the, the marks are located in Quarthus and Mordona. That makes sense. I propose we split up, but quicker to finish the task. I wish to come too. Oh gosh. Can you leave the realm? No, Menfina. Twould not be the burden these oh, twould not do to burden these children so. After all this time we finally have a chance to speak with mortals to learn about them. Oh, I met them from up close, and we're not like to have another. Now, we'll be back in like eight months. We'll be back again. There'll be another alliance raid. She hasn't read the script yet. I'm just going to look at Halone, man. God damn. Holy crap. Her armor looks so damn good. What happened, Mia? Well, that was a little bit of a frame drop there, but it should be good. I must say, I share him in Fina's view. Oh, Helone wants to come too? Even you, Helone. Yes? I'd like to learn about you too, and I believe I speak for all of us. By all means, let us travel together. Yo, know, Snow's lady boner is just... Yidge. Music to my ears. We shall watch over you all and see that you safely reach your destinations. Without further ado, then... Not so fast. You think you could go frolicking without us? The others have our domain well in hand, so we are coming too. A meerkat with Azima's voice. Yeah, these are their... Their... Oh, no. Their little pet simulacrums. That's why there's all those little creatures roaming around. Each one of them essentially is a... Uh, has a direct connection to one of the other uh, deities. Those are the four from the previous alliance raid. Well, now, far be it from us to stop you. Let us assume our disguises too, and then each choose a mortal to accompany. Uh oh. Wait. Is there any, like, do we get a choice? Or is it just story based? So goofy. Please? Let it be something inconspicuous. Yeah, a little walking mummy isn't necessarily... The Spriggan ferret and bird are fine, but a little walking mummy? Pick booba lady, Nico says. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, obviously a fox. <laughs> Apparently there's a bunny standing in front of me. I'm assuming that's uh, Nofika. Was that a fish, a little rock guy, a bunny, a little frosty wolf, uh, a ferret, a tiny mummy, a bird, a little spriggan seedling flower, and a spriggan or what? A sylph. Sorry, a sylph. I believe our destination is Thanaland. Then it's Lanoja for Raha, the Twelves Wood for Kryle. Last but not least, Mordona and Corthus for Derek and Bay. Who's the bun? I'm a bun. With an even smaller bun. Will you be alright, Kryle? I shall be fine. You needn't worry. You're walking around with one of the deities of this world. I think you'll be alright. 
what's gonna happen an ogre pops out it's like raw i'm an ogre <laughs> yeah I, so i'm a, i'm assuming it's oh no it is menfina now actually hold on can anyone else that has done this quest line confirm deny if the deity that goes with you is actually assigned to your astro sign that you made your character with those will remain to keep watch over our domain you didn't worry on our account never before have i traveled with mortals ah such fun this will be so menfina is the tiny bun because I, I i go around with derek so we have the two of them we ate oh we aided by the gods selections oh we abided even yeah I, is it i wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that you picked you have to pick one of the 12 when you make your character why do you suppose the two of us were grouped together character creation maybe i have no idea why because you make the most intriguing pair the god's felling hero and the world faring explorer fair enough also shrug i shall relish the chance to learn about both of you oh god it's a talking bunny now then those have already set forth let us do the same aside from our own mark i believe we'll find those of Thaliac and halone in Mordona and Quarthus. Yeah, we're not even going to like Menfina's shrine because hers isn't here, I don't think. Yeah, no relation to the selected deity. Fair enough. Because it has to be specialized sequences to do that. I'm assuming it's just that they just pick these two. Uh, it's a baby Opo Opo. It says Ook Ook. <laughs> oh my what an adorable creature delighted to meet you little one <laughs> i don't know if, if the opo opo can talk also the opo opo is got big 2004 graphics going on i guess all the pets do realistically the minion fidelity in final fantasy 14 not its strongest suit even if they are kind of cute it seems to want to join us too this is the one that's been following around Derek. If I recall. What an unusual company this has become. The gods truly know no inhibition. Forgive me, Bay. I couldn't have anticipated this turn of events. What, walking around with, with two deific avatars and then an Opo Opo? That also might be a deity in disguise? I don't know. This game is very anime. Have I said that before? 